Hello everyone. Welcome to this video lesson. In this video lesson, we would like to calculate what is the velocity of the projectile. We would like to calculate what is the velocity of the projectile at half of its maximum height. If we are considering a point who is half the maximum height, we would like to calculate the velocity of that. So then, let us start solving the problem by drawing a small diagram of the projectile. You know how do we draw a projectile? Projectile is somebody who is having a motion both along x-axis and y-axis. If we have projected a body with an angle other than 0 and 90, then it is called something like a projectile. Say, let us assume this is your projectile projected with a velocity u making an angle theta with the horizontal. We have proved in the previous classes that it takes a path of parabola. If you don't know that, Please refer to the playlist. It is proven. Anyway, it can be understood that this u can be resolved into components. u being a vector velocity can be resolved into horizontal and vertical components. Horizontal component will become u cos theta. You know this. And then vertical component will become u sin theta. So it is taking its path. It has reached its maximum height. This is its h maximum and we would like to calculate what is the velocity at the h maximum. Say if you want to calculate the velocity at h maximum, no, actually we have to calculate the velocity at the half the h maximum. At h maximum velocity is only the horizontal component that is u cos theta. But you want velocity at a particular point who is half the h maximum at this point you want velocity. Velocity at this point will be in this direction v. We will be having a x component vx. We are also having a y component vy. So if you want to calculate calculate velocity at any instant, at any instant, if you want to calculate velocity, I can write v bar as velocity along the x-axis the format of a vector velocity along the y-axis in the format of a vector so i need to calculate both vx as well as vy we know a formula v equal to u plus cit i can write vx as ux plus ax into t i want to calculate this vx we have already proved that initial velocity along the x direction is u cos theta but you know there is no acceleration acting along x-axis. There is only one acceleration acting here that is acceleration due to gravity. It is acting along y-axis. Therefore, velocity along the x-axis remains constant. Throughout the projectile actually that is the case. Vx is fine. Now I want to calculate Vy. So I would like to write at a particular position. How do we calculate a Vy? So horizontal direction is over. Let's go for a vertical direction. So, get half of maximum height. That's a location. Now, I would like to use the formula v square minus u square is 2as. I can say vy square minus uy square is 2a. In the place of s, yes, I can write h maximum by 2. That's the given condition in the problem. So, vy square minus, you know, velocity along the y-axis we have already proved initially as u sin theta whole square. Acceleration is minus g because the body is moving in the upward direction whereas gravity is trying to act in the downward direction. And we also know that h maximum is u square sin square theta by 2g another half is there. If you don't know the derivation that h maximum is e square sin square theta by 2g, please refer to the previous uh, videos in the playlist. I have already proved it. You can get that answer. So, by simplifying this further, vy square minus u square sin square theta equal to 1, 2 can be cancelled minus g. g also can be cancelled actually minus g u square sin square theta by 2g so g is also cancelled 
let us take this minus u square to the other side that implies by simplifying this further v y square equal to u square sin square theta this value by coming to the right side became a positive minus u square sin square theta by 2 that is taking an LCM 2 u square sin square theta minus u square sin square theta by 2 that's nothing but equal to u square sin square theta by 2 that's v y square that implies velocity along the y direction at half the maximum height is square root of u square sin square theta by 2 that's nothing but equal to u sin theta by root 2 that is the velocity along the y axis at half the maximum height but as I told you the projectile is having velocity both along x axis as well as y axis therefore I can use this formula to find the velocity that implies net h maximum by 2 velocity which is also called like an instantaneous velocity is v bar equal to as I told vxi cap and vy j cap vx is u cos theta and vy is u sin theta by root 2 j cap this is the velocity of the projectile suppose if you are interested in the magnitude of that velocity you know whenever the vector is there we can find out its magnitude by under the square root square of x component and square of y component that is u cos theta whole square plus u sin theta by root 2 whole square so by simplifying this further root of u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta by 2 so if you simplify this further taking an LCM 2 u square cos square theta plus u square sin square theta by 2 so if I simplify this further root of u square common cos square theta plus cos square theta plus sin square theta by 2 I have written 2 cos square theta as cos square theta plus cos square theta that is root of u square cos square theta plus you know cos square theta plus sin square theta as per the trigonometry is equal to 1 by 2 so our answer is I can get a u out of the square root v magnitude of the v is u into square root of 1 plus cos square theta by 2 that's it even we can calculate the direction of the vector by writing tan alpha equal to vy by vx and can further solve the 